Hello everyone, Robert Faringo with Doc Sports here with the number six team on my NFL Power Rankings countdown. Today we're talking about the New York Jets. Look, all I'm gonna say about the Jets is I am in. I am in, I'm buying in, I'm buying into Aaron Rodgers, I'm buying into the Jets as legitimate contenders in the AFC and the AFC East, obviously. Uh, I'm in, okay? I know there's a lot of hype. They're the, they're the hard knocks team. They're gonna get a lot of ink because they're in New York. The Aaron Rodgers trade was one of the big, was the biggest move of, of the off season. A lot of hype around this team. Their season win total is at nine and a half. We'll get to how I feel about that in a minute. But let me just say, I'm in on this team. Now it doesn't matter what I think about Aaron Rodgers as a person. I'm not gonna waste a lot of time talking about Aaron Rodgers as a person. Aaron Rodgers can still play. I saw what everybody saw last year. He looked a little bit diminished. However, he still puts the ball wherever he wants to. He is the all time, he probably throws the most accurate ball of any quarterback I've ever seen. And he, I'm not saying he's the best quarterback I've ever seen. I'm saying he's the most accurate quarterback I've ever seen. I've never seen anything like it. He can still do that. He doesn't run as much, maybe doesn't move around as much. He can compensate there a little bit with, with some savvy. But the main thing is motivation. This guy is focused. He's motivated. He's trying to be a better teammate. He's trying to be a better leader. He's trying to do all of those things that he wasn't doing in Green Bay. He just overstayed his welcome in Green Bay. You, you could tell he didn't want to be there. He didn't want to play for the team. He was sick of the organization. He was a god among men in Wisconsin. Going to New York City, he's embraced that. He's embraced the challenge. He's a different guy. We're going to get the best that Aaron Rodgers has left in him. Will that be enough to go to a Super Bowl? I don't know. I don't think so. Not with this team. But I think it's going to be really, really good because he has a lot around him to work with. He does not have to carry the team like he's had to the last few years in Green Bay. All right, let's just, let's just look at his weapons. Last year, his two best receivers were Alan Lazard and Christian Watson, who is a rookie from North Dakota State. All right, so basically Alan Lazard was his best receiver. Now Alan Lazard is probably his fourth best receiver. He's got Garrett Wilson, who's a beast, Rookie of the year last year. Miko Hardman, he's got hardware. Okay, he's won Super Bowls in, in Kansas City. Corey Davis, who is a big free agent pickup, hasn't lived up to his billing or his contract yet, but they've gotten substandard quarterback play, and that's been generous in New York the last few years. Lazard, Randall Cobb, okay? They have veteran tight ends. He has guys to work with. Now, the problem's gonna be running the ball and a little bit with the offensive line. They were number 26 in the league in rushing last year. They have to be better right there. The offensive line is not as good as what he had to work with in Green Bay these last few years. But if you go back and look over the last decade, Aaron Rodgers didn't always have dominating offensive lines. And he made his offensive linemen a lot better with his savvy in the pocket, with the way that he can move and manipulate things, getting rid of the ball, making good decisions, not taking stupid sacks. Things like that. He still has all those skills. Dwayne Brown's 38. Makai Becton's a bust. He's not, gonna, he's not gonna stay healthy. That knee isn't gonna stay healthy. If they can get six, eight, 10 games out of him, if he can be a good depth piece at this point, I feel like that would be a win for the Jets. I mean, it's not a win. He was a, he was a top 10 pick or top 15 pick. But if you look at some of the other names like Wes Schweitzer, Connor McGovern, Billy Turner, who he worked with, who Rogers worked with in Green Bay, I and Brown, I feel like there's enough professionals there, right? There's enough veterans there. That's all you need. You don't need a front five of pro bowlers in front of Aaron Rodgers. You just need five solid veteran pieces that can move, you know, move the defense enough in the running game and protect Aaron Rodgers enough to do what he can do that this offense has a lot of potential, a lot of potential, okay? This is a team that won seven games last year with nothing out of the quarterback position, less than nothing. They were actively bad. They were number 29 in time of possession last year. The quarterback position actively hurt the Jets' chances of winning last year. Statistically speaking, that's not just my opinion. Statistically speaking, the Jets' quarterback position was a drain on this team. They still won seven games. You give them Aaron Rodgers, they're in business. And again, part of the reason they're in business, top five defense. The years that Aaron Rodgers had top 10 defenses in Green Bay, 
Those were his MVP seasons. Those were the years he was winning 12, 13, 14 games. That is when he dominated. That is what he has. Robert Sala took the worst defense in the NFL and in two years, he made it a top five unit. In fact, got a stat here that I picked up online. According to the Elias Sports Bureau, the 11 point improvement of the Jets scoring defense from 2021 to 2022 marked the second biggest jump of any team in 45 years. In 2021, they gave up almost 30 points a game, 29.6 points per game. Last year, 18.6. They were 11 points better last year. 11 point improvement. The second biggest improvement in almost half a century. With the number 29 time of possession offense draining this defense. How much better are they going to get? How much better is Aaron Rodgers going to get? Or excuse me, how much better is the defense going to get playing with a lead? A lead that Aaron Rodgers can, can get them. All right. The Jets won seven games last year. They actually sp fell 1.3 wins short of their Pythagorean wins expectation. They had four close losses. They were negative seven in turnovers. And they had an 18.3 offensive yards per point, which definitely puts them into the, into the regression range, positive regression. All those numbers pointed to a better Jets team this year anyway. Better than last year's 7-10 and 10 team. You throw Aaron Rodgers and the other free agents that they picked up, the guys they nabbed in the draft. These guys mean business. These guys absolutely mean business. I don't think Buffalo is going to win the AFC East this year. I think it's going to be Miami or New York. When I look at these two teams, when I look at the talent they have, when I look at them, the direction that they're pointing, I'm in. I'm in on the Jets. Maybe I'm buying the hype. I know it hasn't gone great historically for quarterbacks that change teams, change franchises late in, late in their career. I don't think it's going to end very well with Aaron Rodgers. He's probably going to stay one year too many. He's talking about two or three years. His final year could get ugly, but I think this year, this first year, we could see something like when Brett Favre went to Minnesota. Remember that magic year? You know, he's throwing game-winning touchdown passes. They're going to the to the NFC Championship game. Should have gone to the Super Bowl that year, by the way. They would have beaten the Colts that year in the Super Bowl also. But I see that same kind of magic coming out of New York this year. The Jets also have a very favorable schedule. They get to play nine true home games and then a 10th home game because they play the Giants on the road in their own stadium. So that's 10 games in their own stadiums. They also have to play a road game at Buffalo. So that's 11 games that they get to play in New York, New Jersey. We'll call it their, their, home, their home state. But 11 games that they get to play nearby. Not a lot of travel. Not a lot of wear and tear. You have 39-year-old Rodgers, 38-year-old Dwayne Brown. Stuff like that makes a difference. So I am in on the Jets. Aaron Rodgers has won... 10 or more games in 10 of the 13 years that he has played 15 or more games. So if Aaron Rodgers gets hurt, I mean, you could say that about any team and any team's quarterback when you're making these futures bets. If their quarterback gets hurt, you're either screwed or you're elated. But if Aaron Rodgers plays the whole season, and I think he will, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that the Jets are winning 10 or more games. I think 10 wins is the floor. I think that this could be a 12 and 5, 13 and 4 type of team if he gets hot, if he stays motivated, if the momentum builds. Uh, I think that this is a legit, legit team in the AFC. I love the Jets on the over this year. I'm absolutely buying it. So that's it for today. Be sure to check back tomorrow as we get into the top five of my NFL Power Rankings countdown. Carpe diem, and good luck.